I Stand with Emma is a digital image created in 2018 by Los Angeles-based artist Lalo Alcaraz. He was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize in editorial cartooning. He's most well known for his syndicated cartoon trip, La Cucaracha. Lalo Alcaraz has this history of reacting to major news events. On February 14th, 2018, 17 people were murdered at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. And then on February 17th, Emma Gonzalez gave the impassioned we call the yes speech. The following day, Lalo Alcaraz shares the I Stand With Emma image to all of his social media platforms and his personal website because he wanted to support the cause immediately. Originally, it did not exist in an object form. So Lalo Alcaraz created this using uh, digital tablets and image editing software. The Never Again Movement is a student-led organization that was created by the survivors from the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting, and they're really a large group of people. And I think he chose Emma Gonzalez because she does have a very iconic look. You see her from afar because of her shaved head. She does stand out. Even though she has this very unique style, she is really more of a symbol of a youth movement. There's this connotation of Generation Z or Gen Z being very active, and that's true. But there's also a legacy of teenage activists going back to, for example, 1955 with Claudette Colvin. She was someone who was challenging the bus segregation laws. Or in 1968, the East LA Chicano walkouts or the blowouts were part of the student movement for better education in the public schools. Emma is a legacy of student activists, someone who knows that oppression is ageless. No matter what age you are, legislation can affect you and you can also react and demand a change to that. And even within the We Call BS speech, Emma Gonzalez mentions high school classes. She calls herself a kid and other people who are survivors kids. So that's why in the hashtag, it's stand with the kids because it's very much about showing her age, but also showing the maturity uh, despite her age. So usually you see hashtags affixed to captions, for example, on social media. What's interesting about Lalo affixing this to the actual composition is that it really showcases creating a community or digital allyship. The red and black really remind me of the United Farm Workers Movement color palette. It's definitely this connotation with well, it's like labor activism. It's meant to be very bold and striking and to catch your attention so that you can affix yourself to Emma Gonzalez and her advocacy when you're wielding this poster in a protest. I Stand With Emma is part of a legacy of portraiture that Chicano artists constantly come back to because they're often reclaiming the image of someone within their community or oftentimes it's someone they want to make sure is remembered, quite simply. So Lalo Alcaraz is really interesting because he doesn't put Emma's full name, he just puts I Stand with Emma. And it reminds me very similarly of Barbara Carrasco's Dolores screen print from 1999, where she just puts Dolores in hopes that this person should be renowned enough and remembered enough to where you know them by their first name. So I stand with Emma, really thrust her into this historiography of change makers. What's interesting is that instead of a man or heteronormative family, a woman, a queer woman, is this symbol for change. It's a young woman that's going to guide us to a better tomorrow.